Marvel Future Fights V660 update has just arrived and with it, the Sandry Epic Quest has arrived as well. And of course, this is going to be the main focus of the update. So we're going to look at the character in question here. Look at those juicy base stats. We have 16,000 energy attack and we have 46,000 HP. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these are the largest base stats on any character in the game. Let's look at Jean Grey here. 15,038, 15,000, no, 50,040 on her universal. You know, it's it doesn't quite match. 12,035 on Silver Surfer. Let's see, Odin here, 1435. Nope, so far nobody is beating Sentry over here. This absolute thick boy, this absolute unit of a character is here and ready for us to acquire. So Epic Quest, Dark Reign. I'm going to be seeing today how far I can go in the epic quests on the first day. I'm sure everyone will be able to kind of know already by the end of the day. But I just I just thought I'd record my fun. So we have some dialogue here. I'm kind of tempted to skip it. But for those who did skip it and, you know, just might be interested in seeing it, I'm just playing it for you here. And I, I am kind of interested in reading the story also. Even though the story, uh, most of the time in Marvel Future Fight is just um, very derivative, uh, very simple. Not that I hold it against the game or anything. Like, you know, I, I highly doubt that we picked this game up for the story, right? So, Dark Reign Chapter 1, Out of the Shadows, Sentry is freed from imprisonment. So, this is the premise that we are working with, of course. So, here is the Epic Quest main menu. Um, it looks similar to every other epic quest here. Mm, Dark Avengers, Secret Base, let's go here. Sentry, alright. So we're gonna acquire possibly the strongest character in Marvel Future Fight for free. At one star, of course. There's a caveat to it. It's not really for free, there's a lot of resources to invest. But we have him, that's what matters. I'm gonna flex that to the Alliance, right? <laughs> we gotta do that. Uh, so yeah, dialogue. A part of me really can't believe that this Green Goblin turns into the Iron Patriot. Oh, mind you, for those of you who read comics out there, I'm so sorry to offend you, but I have no idea what this comic line's about. So, Dimension Mission, it's pretty easy. We cleared that very quickly. You know, it's very simple. When, when I'm completing these quests, I'm just gonna speed through it. I hate having to clean up my inventory, but it's something you have to do basically after everything, especially considering how often we'll be going back to the Dimension Missions. As you'll see later on, I feel like people know what this is already though. Uh, possibly the worst part of an epic quest, but we'll get to that later. Alright, 50 energy. It's pretty simple. Uh, I decided to just use it on some epic quest missions so I can farm biometrics. So I went for rogue and then I decided, eh, why not? I'll just go for some dark pop bios over here. So, uh, that's done. 50 energy. Very easily spent. You know, 200 gold rewards, not too bad. Just kidding, it's not, I mean, it's not great, but whatever. I, I think the more important thing is that the reward is us, you know, basically advancing further and getting closer to completing Sentry's character. So we've got kind of a cute little breakout theme we got going on in this first chapter. So that's cool. All right, more Dimension Mission. We're just going to acquire the one just in case we need to do it again later on. I don't really know what the missions are going into the Epic Quest. So I'm just being cautious out there, which is what I would recommend people. Unless there's a guide out there that comes out eventually, right? All right, so combining cards. Just bought a couple of card chests and combined them. It's not very costly. I just sell the one star cards. But if you do want to go through this a little faster, I would recommend just combining everything that you get, right? You know, honestly, I really remember the epic quests being pretty cool and pretty fun to do before. And, you know, not much has changed. Yeah, they've gotten a little worse, but for the most part, their contents have stayed the same. But I feel like I don't enjoy them as much. They feel a lot like glorified chores right now. Like, look at this. Timeline battle, participate five times. I mean, I'll do it. But, like, it's like asking me to do things in a specific order. And, it, like, kind of punishes me if I decide to play the game in a different order and all of that. And I don't know, it just feels kind of bad. And yeah, you're just gonna see my timeline battle runs as I speed through them here. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of expressing some of my thoughts on the epic quest as I, you know, go on with it right now. I don't know. I, I don't really know how to improve it honestly, because again, the format has generally stayed the same apart from 
you know some bad additions and yeah the loading screen took forever here i think i had some problems with my internet or whatever but yeah i don't know i just kind of feel bad because there used to be so much fun in getting an epic quest at least from what i can recall i don't know maybe maybe i'm just a marvel future fight boomer all right so it said there's a search mission i feel like we're approaching one of the more uh well, how should i say controversial pieces of content yeah so here we have research mission cosmic cube fragments i think i'm just gonna straight up pay it right here because it's just 200 and i feel like i do want to get sentry anyway so yeah we pay it there and we get him to two stars oh god i'm kind of if the, if it costs 200 to get him to two stars i am scared as to what the costs will be to get more stars on him so uh that's something to look forward to right anyway we go on combined iso 8 yeah so i kind of wanted to be particular here so I, I i wanted to only combine like good isos i combined some crit damage crit rate ones because those are kind of worthless and i use those to upgrade my better isos but yeah i kind of had to speed through the process here uh i mean in editing of course but we got it done in the end so there it is iso 8 and we get a rank 3 black antimatter which kind of makes me feel like we're gonna have to use that later on honestly in the epic quest they kind of just give you rewards that you're gonna have to use later on anyway okay danger room participate one time so i was able to match with another sharon and a luna i use sharon myself and we go up against a team of ghost rider namor and luna that went by so fast so you think we'd win right because we have two sharons but no we did lose i played terribly in this danger room run uh, I, I i take full responsibility for that loss but whatever it completed the quest anyway and that's all we wanted so that's done and at this point things are going pretty smoothly you know all of the tasks that we've done so far have been all right yeah it's kind of hard to part with 200 ccf but apart from that it's been pretty good so of course it's at this point that we approach one of the worst aspects of the recent epic quest which are these stupid search missions and yeah stupid as they are i'm still gonna have to get past them so i'm just gonna do a nice little montage of me getting all 30 of these stupid sentry serum things so enjoy <laughs> Okay, now that that monstrosity is over, we now have Sentry at 1 star mastery. So we have a leadership. It's not a great one yet, but we're getting there. Alright, more story, story, story. Uh, okay, it's at this point we do get to unlock the Scorpion mission. So that didn't take too long we finished the scorpion mission it's kind of no problem if you have any tier three on your team it just kind of goes through them very well and now that i cleared one i just need to clear one more with clear tickets and that should be it for the mission all right so we get 10 scorpion bios which lets us unlock him it's a free-to-play character one that you can use your bio selectors on so i think he'll be the easiest to build of the roster i mean 
Uh, I mean, of course, Green Goblin and Bullseye have already been available, and I think their bios are available in the Dimension Shop. So they should be easier, but of the new characters here, I'm saying Scorpion would be the easiest by a long shot, I think. Okay, so Scorpion joins the roster of Dark Avengers. We're in Chapter 2 now. So what does that mean? Are we out of the breakout? All right, rank up Scorpion to 3 star. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be using some bio selectors that I've saved up in order to get him to 3 star. It shouldn't take too much and we get it done in the end right here. Alright, so that's easy enough. If you don't have the bio selectors it might be a little bit harder but I feel like you can get enough with one good Shadowland clear. You know, I mean like one straight run. You know, that'll get you what, like 200 bio selectors which is I think more than enough to get him to three star right now to get him higher that's a different story now we need to spend two million gold so i figured i just uh level up his gears and maybe try to roll a decent iso 8 set uh you see i i didn't really get it done there so i had to go for a second time but we did it anyway in the end so all of these epic quest missions are you know just kind of menial tasks very simple Ooh. uh scorpion gets the symbiote spider-man suit Oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, they they didn't have to make a uniform for him, so um okay. All right, so like I think I was right a while ago with the rank three black antimatter. We're gonna need it here. I'm gonna skip the math of it, and we're just gonna pretend that I magically got it done. You know, it, it's it's quite simple, and yeah, two star mastery for a century, not bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's a start. We all need to start somewhere, right? And we're just slowly getting Sentry up there. All right, Scorpion to five stars. I'm I'm assuming in order to get Sentry to the level 66 stars, we need all of the all of the supporting characters at five stars. So I'm gonna be using my bio selectors. I'm gonna be digging some up as well because I don't think I have enough. I think that's why anyway. Oh, I, I'm watching this of course. I'm watching this back after I did it. But yeah, I completed some missions. Uh, there's a double event. For, for Scorpion's uh, mission right now. So so do that if you want some extra Scorpion bios. But yeah, in the end, we were able to get him to five stars. Progress with the story. It's kind of scary knowing that we're also going to have to build Dakin up to five stars. Not just that, but Ares as well, given that he's a shifter character. And it is at this point that I've reached the end of the progress that I can make on the Sentry Epic Quest. Because... I've already played 5 timeline battles earlier, so I cannot win 10 times anymore today. And the progression of the epic quest will have to resume tomorrow. Now, I don't know if I'll do videos on that. I just wanted to do my day 1, you know, observations, uh, experiments with the content. But I don't know if people are interested in this kind of thing. If people want to see me do a day 2 of this, then I'd be down to do that. Um, but then again, it's not very interesting content, so I don't think people would want to see that. But regarding Sentry, I will try to get him maxed out ASAP because, yeah, I don't know much about the character from the comics, but he seems pretty cool. And potentially, again, the strongest character in Marvel Future Fight. I mean, who doesn't want to have that on their roster? Yeah, it's a lot of resources, but, you know, whatever. I'm ready to invest. So, I hope... This video was interesting, entertaining, informative, blah, 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 whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you had a good first day with the update, despite all the doom and gloom of the boycott. And as always, thank you so much for watching.